The rain and cooler temperatures forcing the Sooners back inside here at the Everest Indoor Training Center. Despite losing Kenny Stills and Justin Brown, the Sooners returning a number of big time playmakers from an explosive wide receiver core in 2012, led by Jalen Saunders and Sterling Shepard. Certainly a position that the Sooners are not short on depth and experience this spring. It's been a good spring, a uh, lot of hard work, a lot of competition. Uh, uh, the defense uh, is making it challenging every day, and our guys are really learning a lot of, about our offense and competing hard. Overall, I, think, I believe all the receivers have been doing great. You know, we all, you know, correct each other in film, you know, what, what needs to be helped and whatnot. So, you know, I think it's been a real great spring for us. I feel like we have a lot of horses, and uh, they were kept in the stable last year, so uh, they get to, you know, uh, display what they have now and I think all of them are doing a great job doing that so it's fun to work with the young guys it's fun to work with the guys that haven't played a lot uh, and really teaching them the game you know we really teach a lot about defense in the spring understanding defense and our concepts and our younger players are getting a lot of opportunities to to really show what they can do and it's fun to see them compete every day some of the new faces new names that have been stepping up who, who's impressed you uh, Dannon. Dannon's been been real good, you know. And uh, Colton Vester right there, he's stepping up too. Uh, he's going to be an older guy, so he's great out there. With Kenny stepping up into a leadership role with you guys last year, who's kind of taken over in that in that role this spring? Uh, Jalen Saunders. Uh, it, it, there's no question he's kind of been more vocal. He's taking those guys aside. He's spending time with them off the field. He's leading in meetings. So Jalen's done a great job. He's a senior. Uh, he's our best receiver, and, and he's got to fill that role for us. You know, it's something new to me. You know, usually I have somebody to look up to since I've been in college so long. So, But, you know, I've been liking my role being a leader, you know, on and off the field so far. So, you know, uh, that's really what I've been living up to. You know, that's what I'm going to keep doing from here on out. He's been great. I mean, he, he still teaches me things to, to this day, you know, uh, releases and uh, just how to run routes sometimes. So uh, he's great. it's great having him. And how has it been with – different quarterbacks you know you had Landry for so long and, and now they're going through it with different guys it's it's exactly what I thought it would be I mean all three of these guys have got ability to make plays they've all had a really good spring so far um, you know they're all trying to be consistent uh, but but they're making things happen and they're giving our guys an opportunity to make a plays outside and and it's been fun it's been energizing there's a lot of energy at practice and it's fun to see guys make plays that haven't had a chance to and the Sooners will be off until Friday when we'll get to know new tight ends and special teams coach Jay Bulware. Be sure to keep it right here on Soonersports.com for everything OU Spring Football.